Hey guys and welcome back to another Magical Voxel tutorial. In this video I will be showing you guys how to create realistic floors with textures. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started go ahead and download the Google Drive I left in the description. This has all of the shaders that I use in Magical Voxel. All you have to do is download it, extract it to your desktop, and drag and drop the shaders folder into your shaders folder in Magical Voxel you can gain access to the shaders I use in this tutorial. Starting with the wood floor, we can go ahead and switch over to tile 3, delete the cube, go over to the shaders tab, and find where it says bricks. Go ahead and go to voxel shader mode, attach, and just drag it out. And then we're going to go ahead and select some color. For the wood flooring. So after you choose the colors you want for your wood flooring, go ahead and actually delete the, um, the object that was created here and just drag it back over in the settings here. You can switch the direction if you want and if you don't click anywhere outside of this area and just go to here and adjust, it will live update based on the settings you choose. With the wood flooring, I kind of want long stretched out planks. And then this is where you choose your color on the index. It's between one and four. So I want to change this to four. Does that. And then you can always mess with these settings to your liking. I'm happy with that, but the colors I want to change. So we can go back to here and adjust it accordingly. Okay, I think those colors look good. I want to go ahead and create like a little crease to make it look more like wood planks. Let's go ahead and pick a darker color. Use the line tool and just drag it out like this. Okay, now that that's done, you can go ahead and constrict the object. Go into render, take a look at it. You're not going to get a full effect until you add some light, so I'm going to do that really quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and give each of these colors a material just to give it a reflective look that laminate flooring does. And you can always just mess with this thing. So if this looks too bright, you can go in here and adjust the reflectiveness if you'd like. It does look a bit too bright, so should adjust it. Okay, and there you go. There's your wood flooring. Now let's go ahead and do the cobblestone floor. Let's create a new object. Go ahead and add the floor and then give the cobblestone floor maybe four different colors. And then what we're going to do is go to paint and box mode and just add little cubes here and there.
Okay, now that you've finished with that, let's go ahead and add the lines that make it look like cobblestone. Go ahead and go to render and take a look at it. We're going to give this some uh, more texture by going back to the model tool and uh, raising some of these blocks up. And then go ahead and bring a light source to the floor to see the full effects. And then adjust the stones to your liking. And there you go, you have some cobblestone floors. Now for the metallic flooring, go ahead and make a new object. Select um, basically two colors. I'm going to choose index 17 and 18. I'm going to make 18 white. Go ahead and add the floor. Actually, no, I'll take that back. Delete the floor. Go to voxel shader mode and then scroll down the shaders tab until you see tiles. Drag it out until it fills the object. Over here, color A and color B. Choose where the two color palettes you saved that. I make it width one and height one. And then go ahead and hit Control D for done. We're gonna go ahead and select only the white ones. And delete that. Now you have this kind of like laced design. We'll go ahead and fill in the borders with the gray I selected. Go ahead and give it a light source. And then a metal emission shader. That actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Now if you want more textures on this, you can go back to model. And like with the other floors, you can select four different colors. Like so. Go ahead and select all. Highlight the four colors you want in for your floor. Right click and hit random. And right now it looks way off, the contrast is too much, so go ahead and adjust it accordingly. That looks good. Go ahead and go back. Go ahead and give these colors a um, metal shader. Okay, and there you go, you have metal floors. Last but not least is the dirt with grass, which is probably the hardest one and most time consuming. Let's go ahead and just create the object. Select four different colors for your dirt. Add the floor. Like with the metal flooring, you want the colors to be somewhat related, you don't want to be too contrasty. Go ahead and select the floor you have, highlight the four colors you want for the dirt, right click random, take a look at it. Might want to change a few colors, make it a little bit lighter.
Okay, now that you have the flooring for your dirt, go ahead and take a look at it. Bring in the emission light, actually. Make sure it bounces off the light, okay. Gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add grass. For this, constrict the dirt floor to just the height of one. And add a new object for your grass. Bring it up one, go into the object, and then the shaders. Scroll all the way up, and select the brush, and you should see grass. Go ahead and go to voxel shader mode, and actually select some colors you want for your grass. In this case, again, you want it about four colors for the grass. Just go to create a gradient and drag it out. Figure out what colors these are. Scroll down till you see color A and color B. Put in your colors that you have for the grass. You can change the seed, change the growth if you want. And you can change the density. I like it at one. You can change the mode. I like that. Go ahead and take a look. It's looking a little bit dense, so I'm just gonna go to the top down view. Um, go to just voxel mode and just get rid of some. Give it a little bit of shine. Okay, and there you go, you have your four types of flooring. Hopefully this tutorial helps, there will be more videos to come, so stay tuned.